Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to my subscribers, welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see and if so, be part of this journey with us by hitting that subscription button right below in red. It's free of charge, you don't pay anything for it and it helps the channel. And also don't forget to hit the bell notifications for new uploads. I want to thank every single one of you for all your beautiful comments and your support. Thank you so much. And I would like to mention that right up top, there's three little buttons. You can click there to slow down the video to the speed you would like if I'm too fast for you. Also, right next to it, there's the uh, CC closed caption. You can turn that on and you can pause the video and take notes of everything that will be written down here on the stitch that I will be calling. In case you don't have the CC up there or the three little buttons on the video up top, there's three little buttons. You just click there on the settings and it's in there. You can slow down the video and also turn your closed caption on. The next thing I would like to mention is in the description box, everything is always listed below. There's a little arrow right uh, like a V upside down right below the video on the right side. If you click that little arrow, everything will be in the description box. So I have my Facebook page for the crochet. I also have a Facebook group crochet that you can join if you have a, pr a profile on your Facebook. And um, you can um, join us in the group. It's a private group. So, of course, you have to have a profile. If you don't, then unfortunately you can't because there's too many scammers going around with the groups and I want to make sure that we're all safe and nobody's going around scamming anybody. I see a lot of that in the groups nowadays and I'm taking myself away from the groups due to that fact and also the fact that there's some nastiness going on, especially coming out of administration's mouth. That's not a good thing. So, I decided to create my own, inviting you to be part of it, if you'd like to. Um, what else? So I also would like to mention, if you please want to help to donate for the women in need of thread and yarn, I need your help to buy them the thread and yarn. I have my PayPal account below in the description box. You can donate whatever you feel like. Everything adds up at the end, so we can help these women to get them busy with, you know, creating some pieces and distract their minds from the daily life stress uh, that they might be going through. It could be a mental stress, it could be family stress, it could be mothers alone with children that cannot afford to buy these threads and yarn. So I really want to help them out. And the only way I can do it is by you and I together helping them out. So please be generous and help out. It doesn't matter the amount. And I want to thank you so much um, for helping Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm sure they will appreciate you too, very, very much so. So thank you again. Um, anything else? I hope I'm not forgetting. So normally when I'm calling out the stitch and I say chain one for space, for, and I usually say chain one separation, that means for space. If your stitch is too tight, then do an extra chain. So instead of doing one, you do two chain. If your stitch is too loose, then do less one chain. Also, uh, when your stitch is extremely tight, you should go with the hook, one hook size bigger than your normal that you use because that will help to loosen up the stitch when you're going into the second row and try to put your stitches in. Okay, so thank you so much, everybody. We're going to get started. Please also share, give a thumbs up on the video. It helps to circulate the video and have the channel to be recognized. Share on your Facebook public with your family and friends. Have them join us together as one big family. So thank you so much, everybody. I send much hug and love to every single one of you and many blessings from the universe. Thank you so much, everyone. Everyone, so we're back to part two video, the continuation of the tablecloth. So I finished all my squares. It's too big for me to even show you completely. And now we're going to go in back into the cream color. And we're going to start to work with the cream right on this one here where we have that space, not on the corner, but the first blockage. We're going to start here 
with double crochet. Also want to remind you that um, I'm also uploading for the left-handed people and also a little reminder that it takes about a half an hour to an hour before the closed caption letters appear on the bottom. It takes about that long for you to, to recognize what I'm saying in order to type it out on the bottom. Okay, so we're going to start where we have that space here. I think it should move maybe this black towel out of the way. just so big now kind of hard on a small table to do a tutorial anyway so where we have the space we have that square here and I'm coming in on the first block here with single and two chain next space so we're doing one double crochet per space inside of the little blockage to two chain space one double crochet and we continue on because now we need to straighten out our tablecloth I have to tuck in my loose ends of leftover thread. So one double crochet per space. Okay, God, I tighten my stitch so much that sometimes I have a hard time putting my hook through it. That's what I didn't grab that well. So we're here at the area where we have the two squares in the center here of between both squares we're going to do one double crochet okay we actually need to do one here in the center of the corner and then one in between and one in the center here too and then one per space so just like that now continue yours all the way to until we get to the edge here the corner of this granny and then I'll meet you here at the corner. Okay, so we're reaching the corner. You know the very first square we did. And inside of this space here, where we have the two chains, we're going to do the same thing as we were doing before. Two double crochets, two chain, and two double crochets in the same space. Then we continue one double crochet per space okay so we started here and here which we're right at the edge right one double crochet inside one in the middle and one inside then we continue one per space two on the edge here double crochet to chain to double crochet we're going to continue with one double crochet per space and one inside of the space here and I'll meet you here okay right after right over here because we're gonna skip after we do our double crochet in here we're going to skip all this area which meets actually no not there so we're going to do one double crochet sorry about that all the way through like we did here 
same thing. We're going to do the same thing until your second square, okay? And then where this area meets, we're going to do our one double crochet in here, and then we're going to skip all of this, and we're going to come into this, but we'll get there when we get there. So just do one double crochet per space until you get to this area here, which will be, if you're working on the same side as me, the second square. This is where that space is. Okay, I'll meet you here on the second square. Okay. Okay, guys, so I've reached that area where I have that space. And I did my one double crochet just before the corner of this um, square, which we are on the second square. So I'm going to do one, two, three chain. I'm going to come into the first space here on the next granny square. Okay, which is the same direction. And I'm doing one per space again. So we're just going to repeat this all the way around the same way as we've been doing. If you need to return, rewind the video a bit, then you can go ahead. Now, that's the only time we're skipping is in that area. Everything else stays the same. Okay, grab my thinner one here to get into some of the uh, some of the stitches here. Sometimes I made such strong knots changing the thread that I can get my hook through it. That's why it's always good to have one aside. Okay, so remembering we're getting into this other corner here. So from here to here, we're just doing one inside of the corner here, one in between the two connection with the squares here, one in the middle of the other corner, And one, good God, my hands are stretched out, people, and this is getting bigger and heavier. So it makes it hard, especially with the mobile in front of my face to record. So then one per space. Shout out to all you beautiful women that have been supporting me for a long time now and that always comment beautiful lovely blessing comments thank you okay so we continue on I send lots of hugs lots of love also to India there's a lot of in indie friends on here Now we're getting to that corner again, that edge, like the very first uh, square that we built in. That's going to be two double crochets. So right in the corner here, we're at the corner of this one, okay? Two. To chain and two more inside of the same space and then one per space so not complicated at all let's just recap so when you get to the corners right two double crochet two chain two double crochet in connection here we do one double crochet inside of the corner, one in the middle, and one in the corner again. Continue. The only time we skip is where we have this space here. Three chain. We do our one 
double crochet, three chain, and into the first blockage. And then we continue the same thing as we did. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of this row. So I've reached the end, I did my three chains. We had started here, if you remember. So now all double crochets, two and two chain, two in the center, one double crochet per space, and then we just skip only on these areas. Okay, so I'm going to call this like row one because it's the first row right after the granny square, so we don't have to go all the way down and do counts. So going into row two, for the next seven rows, or actually the next six rows, I should say, it's going to be the same thing. We'll have the total of seven rows of double crochet. So we're just going to repeat. We're going to repeat the same thing like we did here at the beginning. We always skipped one double crochet at the beginning, and we always skipped at the end. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to skip at the beginning by going to the next one with a single and two chain. Next space double crochet. So nothing changes on this. It's going to be a repeat. Skipping the first double crochet and skipping the last double crochet. So I'm going to do one double crochet per, per space. Two inside of the space here. Two chain and two more stays the same everything stays the same one double crochet per space skip the last one we don't do exactly same thing as we did here on the motive we skip the first and we skip the last we're going to do the same thing here on the motive skip the first and skip the last so we're going to do our last one here and we're going to do our three chain skip the first and go into the second one with a double crochet and repeat the same thing. So I'm going to continue mine until here just to clear it for you and then I'll be back again. Okay. So I'm at the edge of our motive. Stays the same. Two double crochet, two chain, two more double crochet in the same space. And we continue one per space. Okay, so I'll meet you here before the last one. Okay, now I'm reaching the end of our motive here. So I'm skipping the last one, I'm not doing the last one, and I've skipped the first one. Okay. And it's going to be like that for the next seven rows, including this one here. One, two, and three. I'm skipping the first one, going into the second one, and create again one double crochet per space. So this is just going to be a repeat of the same thing. Now, I will be changing colors. I will be doing the last three rows. I don't know, maybe with the green. I don't think I will have enough of the blue, but I'll probably do it with the green. So, yes, it's seven rows total. I'm going to do four rows of the screen cream color in my last three rows. Now when I say four rows, that's including with the first row, second row, then third row, and then fourth row. And then I'm going to change color and do my last three rows with a different color. Most probably it's going to be with the green, but you can continue on the same color if you like, or use whatever color you are using at the moment if you are switching colors. Okay, so just continue to do the same thing. We'll have a total of seven rows all together. I'll meet you at the end of my seventh row. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much did my seven rows, as you can see. So I added um, 
the green in the center between the blue, the light blue, just to spice it up and not to be exactly the same thing as the other tablecloths that I had done. So now we're going to go into row eight. Now when I'm counting row eight, I'm counting from here, okay? I'm not doing the whole count from the table runner. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven rows of double crochet and chain three. Okay, so now we're gonna go to row eight. And we're almost there, people. Of course it takes a bit because the bigger it gets, you know, the more work to go around it. This whole row, row eight, will be of single crochet. The only difference is where we have the chains, we're going to go in, we're going to skip one, two, three. On the fourth one, we're going to do single, okay? And it's going to be the same thing when we get to the other um, chains, always skipping uh, three. And even when we get here to the end, we're only going to put the single here and we're not doing the last three. Okay, so single on each space. Until we get to the edge, the corner here, and I'll meet you here at the corner. Okay, so singles all the way. So we are arriving here on the corner. Singles. Inside of the space here, we're going to do two singles. Instead of doing two double crochet, one chain only. And, oops and two more singles on the same space. One, two, and then we proceed with singles again, all the way, almost to the end. We're not doing these last three, so I'm gonna stop my single on the fourth here from this side, okay? So I'll meet you here, and then we'll do the next step. So we're reaching again where all the the chains are. So we have one, two, and three. We do the last single on the fourth one on this side, okay? And now we're going to do chain 12. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We're going to skip one, two, three on the fourth one. We continue with our singles. So this is what this row is going to be about. So every space that we have the chains, you must do chain 12, everything, and skip three into the fourth, okay? And do singles, coming to the corner, two singles, one chain, two singles on the same space, and we continue on. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished row nine going into row 10. So I closed in on my first single with a slip stitch after my 12 chain. Now we're going to skip three space again and go into the fourth with a slip stitch. So we're on our second slip stitch already. One, two, three. And on the fourth one here, we're going to do a single. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to slip stitch, slip stitch, and slip stitch, and then single on the fourth one, one, two, three, and fourth. Now, we're going to continue to do slip stitch all the way to the corner again. So this row again will be all about slip stitch. And we're going to come into the corner. The only difference is we're only going to do one single, one chain, and one single this time. I'll meet you here at the corner. So we continue with singles. So I'm reaching that one chain here in the center of the two singles we did. Right in the center, we have two singles and two singles. So we did a one chain separation. So right in the center, one single, one chain, and one single on the same space. And then we continue with our singles again until we reach here 
but we're not doing one, two, three. So I'm going to come until here, the fourth one right here. So we're not going to do one, two, three, or should I say here, one, two, and three. Okay, so I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, everyone, as you can see, we have one space, two space, three space. I'm on my fourth one, so we leave one, two, three out. Okay, we're going to do chain two. Now, where we have the 12 chain, we need to do 12 double crochets. Now, if you find hard to go in, the best thing to do is get a smaller hook. Since this one is a bigger hook, it's much easier to fit in your double crochets. And one per space. So we need 12 double crochets. So I'm going to fill out mine and then show you at the end. Okay, so I finished doing my 12 double crochets inside of the space of the chain 12. I'm going to do chain 2, and again I'm going to skip. 1, 2, 3, on your 4th one. So 1, 2, 3, on the 4th one, single. 1, 2, 3, And then we continue with the singles all the way, just like we finished doing. Like that. Okay? So I will meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I'm finishing row 9. I did my two chains. And I'm going to come in where I have my first single that we did. Remember, we walked with a slip stitch. And then on the fourth one, we did the single. So I'm going to do a slip stitch. And this other row ain't going to be any different. So row 10, I'm going to go over again with the slip stitch. Skip three space and go into my fourth. Two. Three. And on my fourth, I'm going to do a single. Okay, so we, we slip stitch on the first single to close. And then slip stitch once, twice, three times. And on the fourth one, we do a single. We're going to do singles all the way again. This is no different than the one, the row we just uh, finished doing, row uh, nine that we finished doing. So row ten is exactly the same thing. We are going to do one single in the corner, one chain, one single. Exactly like we did here, we're going to do it here. When we get to the 12 double crochets, so we need to uh, leave three on the fourth one here. This is the last one exactly like we did here. We're going to do our two chains, and we're going to come in to the first double crochet with double crochet. So we're going to do 12 double crochets again two chains and we're going to skip one, two, three. On the fourth one, we continue with single. Okay. So exactly like we did here, we're going to do the same thing again. Okay. So I'm going to continue mine and then I'll meet you. So you know that here the corner is the same thing. We're going to do the single one chain, one single. I'll meet you here just to make sure that you don't get lost because it's just a repeat now. It's exactly the same thing as we just finished doing on row 9. So this is row 10, okay? So I have arrived where I have my double crochets. So we have one, two, three space that we do not do. We're on the fourth one. We're going to do chain two again. We're going to come directly on top of the first double crochet like that and we're going to do double crochet over double crochet so we're going to have 12 double crochets so it's just a repeat exactly what we did on row 9 we're repeating it on row 10 by skipping 4 
actually three and going into the fourth and we're going to do the same thing here so we're going to skip one two three and on the fourth we do our single okay so continue to do yours and i'll meet you at the end okay everyone so finish doing row 10 going into row 11 so i close down with slip stitch again we're going to skip three space going to the fourth so Close in with slip stitch, slip stitch on the first, second, third, and on the fourth one we're going to repeat the single crochets. Same way as we've been doing and do single crochets. Coming to the edge, again the same thing, one single crochet, one chain separation, space, and one single crochet on the same space. Doesn't change anything. And then we're going to come here, we're going to leave three out, we're going to be on the fourth one here, so one, two, three out. We're going to do two chain, and we're going to do a double crochet on the, in the middle of the space here. One chain separation, double crochet, one chain separation, double crochet, one chain separation, double crochet, one per space. So I'll meet you here because everything else is pretty much the same, okay? Okay, so I've reached where my almost the double crochets is. So I'm on my fourth one here because we're going to skip one, two, and three. Chain two. And we're going to come directly where we have the two chain uh, here and do a. My hands are, are like tied up over here. And do a double crochet. I don't like it when my thread starts splitting like this. Doesn't look good. So two chains into the space and double crochet. One chain separation. We're going on top of the double crochet. Just like that. One chain. And again on top of the double crochet, one chain, and we continue on. Okay. Don't you just love when your thread just splits up? That's what happens when there's so much thread here. Try this way. I know with the smaller hook won't help because I have it will tend to split more, but sometimes I just need a little bit of that help. Okay, so we're going to continue that and I'll meet you here just to make sure. Okay, so pretty much finished doing my 12 double crochets with one chain separation, space, two chain, and again we're going to skip one, two, three on the fourth, single, okay? So you're skipping one, two, three on the fourth single. And we continue on with the singles. We're going to repeat this row this way all the way through, all around. And I'll meet you at the end. Hey everyone, so we're pretty much almost done row 11. Let me just confirm to make sure. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, so it's row 12, isn't it? So hold on, 7, 8, 9. Yes, we're finishing row 11, going into um, row 12. Okay, so I'm on my last motive here. Did my two chains, and now I'm coming into the first single that we did here and this next row is not much of a difference we're going to continue to skip the three spaces going into the fourth so I'll slip stitch one two three and on the fourth one single we're going to do singles same way as we've been doing and 
to the corner we're going to do again the same thing repeat the same thing one single one chain and one single on the same space continue your singles coming to the edge here we leave three out we do the last single on the fourth space two chain and we're going to do double crochet over double crochet with one chain separation double crochet over double crochet one chain separation so instead of putting in here this time we're just going to do right over the double crochet i'll meet you there when i get there okay so i'm at the edge here now we're doing the 12th row that means you're supposed to have five rows of singles already okay we're on our fifth row of singles so we leave the three last ones we don't do one two three we leave it out chain two and we're going to come directly in where we have the double crochet with double crochet one chain and we proceed again double crochet over double crochet one chain so everything else stays the same the only difference was doing the double crochet over double crochet at the beginning and at the end okay so that's about it for this uh for this row we're going to do double crochet or double crochet getting here we're going to do our two chain we're going to skip one two three on the fourth one we do our single okay so nothing changes so i'll meet you at row 13. okay everyone so i finished row 12 going to row 13 that means we have five rows complete of the single crochets now row 13 is no different than row 12. we're going to do exactly the same thing we're going to do the double crochet over double crochet one chain separation exactly as we did on row 12. row 13 is the same we're going to close in with slip stitch and we're going to do exactly what we've been doing so one two three and on the fourth one we're going to do a single everything stays the same on row 13. Row 14, we're going to change up a bit. We're going to be doing double crochet over double crochet. And inside of the space here, we'll be doing a double crochet on the next row. So row 13 is exactly like row 12, just singles and double crochet over double crochet. The two chain separation here and one chain separation here. I'll meet you at the end of row 13. Okay, everyone. So I finished row 13 with a slip stitch I walked to the fourth space with the sing I mean slip stitch in the fourth space single did all my singles in the corner the same way a single a chain a single walking to the same thing leaving the last three not doing it two chain now the only difference here on this row is doing double crochet inside of the space. It, my tablecloth is so heavy and so big now. It's like, wow. Okay, so just one double crochet per space and one on top of the double crochet. That's the only difference we're doing. And we're almost finished. I believe there's one or two rows left to complete the tablecloth. So we are one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on, let me count it by here. I think it's easier. One, two, three four five six so we are on the seventh row of singles 14th row from from the first one here after the granny square okay so i'll meet you at the end okay you guys so we finished row 14 now or row 14 let me just check if I'm right, hold on. Yep, yeah, row 14 we finished, going into row 15. Now you can make this your last row if you're doing, you know, just simple colors. 
or you can do this and then make another row just with picot. It's up to you. So I closed in with a slip stitch, tied it in my loose ends, and I'm just gonna doesn't matter really where you where you start at this point, but I'm gonna continue on where. So we did a one, two, three on the fourth space again. I did a single and a chain and another chain. So that's single, two chains. I'm going to come back the same space. One chain again, come back the same space. one chain again and back the same space so now we have four double crochets and i'm going to do one more in the same space so i'm going to have five double crochets one chain i'm going to skip one two three four hold on one two three four i'm going to try to go into the fifth see if I'm not pulling it too much but we have to go on the fourth so it doesn't pull through because I will be doing with the green at the end with peacock one two three I'm gonna do four one chain one two three on the fourth space I'm gonna do my five groups again of double crochet one chain separation now this is optional it's up to you on the other one i had only two double crochets i'm changing up this one a bit so i don't have it identical because i don't need two identical tablecloths but on the other one instead of five i had two double crochets and one chain separation so it's up to you if you want to do it that way one two three four one more And five, one chain, one, two, three, four, one chain, one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to proceed this way all the way around, and then I'm going to have the last row with peacocks. Okay, I'll meet you in the next row if you want to follow through that same way. If not, you can just finish this last row with single crochet or picots um, or just two double crochet like I mentioned and you can do a picot in between the two double crochet or one chain separation it's up to you or you follow through the same way as I'm doing so this is row 15 I'll meet you at the beginning of row 16 so I just wanted to show you getting here one chain I'm going to come into the first one here and do my single one chain and I'm going to skip one two three four now if I don't have the right amount at the end of this no issues we'll just skip one or two there at the end One chain again, so all five in the same space. One, two, three, and four. One chain, one, two, three, and four, and continue on. We'll see how this is going to pin in, pin out at the end. Okay. Okay, so it didn't, it wasn't working out properly with skipping the four because I wanted to have it end up the same way here as we started here. So what I did was I skipped three only, one, two, one, two, and three. Actually, this one was four, and then one, two on the third one. So the first one I skipped four, one, two, three, I went into the fourth. Second one I did one, two, onto the third. 
one, two, on to the third I created, 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 one, two, I created on the third, and the last one I skip the four, one, two, three, and I put into the fourth one. So it gives me the balance out. So I have four on here, and it worked out perfect for me that way. And then as we continued on to do our chain, I skipped the first um, single and went into the second. And that's it. And then just continue through there. Okay? Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished doing all of the motives here. Now, a lot of times it didn't fall into the second place. It fell into the third place. Or even on here, let's say. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything on the pattern. So go ahead and create it. This is the last row. Row 16. So you can go on any motive. I'm going to start by coming inside in between the double crochets I'm going to do two I'm going to come back in and I'm going to close it with a single so it's almost like a picot without doing a picot let's say into the next one single two chain come back in and close it in maybe i have to do three so it can pop up a little bit more sometimes you just have to go with with the flow single one two three chain trying to hide my thread here and single in the same space. Next space, single, one, two, three, chain, and single in the same space. So nothing to it, very simple. Next space, single, three, chain, and again. And last space in between, so we're doing in between the double crochets, one, two, three and single it's gonna look like that we're gonna come directly where we have the single that we did here with a single and then back in to the next um, motive there single three And then back in next space single three chain and back in so this does it for this very long hours tutorial not so much of hours tutorial but a lot of hours of work to advance and to record so i want to thank every single one of you for being part of this journey with me i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i will have the pictures and display and a little video i don't think i have a table big enough to put this in um you know to to have this tablecloth but i will put it in one of my small tables and it'll just hang long enough but at least you'll get to see what it looks like okay so thank you, everybody. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important to have the video circulate. Please share on your Facebook, public, you know, have other people recognize the channel. It's the only way we keep growing. And thank you so much again for your support, Karen. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I can't wait to see you create this tablecloth and send me the picture. Karen Coffey is the uh, administrator of Crochet Therapy. For people that don't know, she's an amazing woman. It's an amazing group. So if you want to be part of that, go ahead. Join us there. And, of course, if you want to be part of mine, then everything will be listed below on the description box. You can just click there and uh, request 
to be a member. Okay, thank you so much, everybody. I'll have all the information in the description box here and on video one, how much uh, thread that I've used, sizes, you know, the coloring, and uh, hook numbers, and so on and so forth. So thank you so much, everybody. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. God bless. Bye-bye, everyone.